Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're going to be sewing up the plush cuddle bunny pattern. I am so excited about it. It is so sweet, so cute. It made a little bit of a mess but it wasn't as bad and it was totally worth it. I can't wait to show you the final results. It is adorable. You're going to love it and you're going to want to make a million more because I'm already there. I already bought more fabric for more to make. There's different sizes. I'm making the small size today, but there's a small, medium, and large, and I can't wait to make them all. So I hope you love it as much as I do. Let's sew it together so I can show you how easy it really is to sew it up. Y'all, I am super excited to sew up this bunny because my son had a bunny kind of like this one when he was growing up and I am just... All right, let's get started. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm doing this fabric and it's literally shedding fuzz everywhere. So yay. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, two things to point out really quickly. Make sure you mark your pattern placements. I did the projector pattern, so I made sure I marked my back. This is my front. I marked my little... Um, uh, my little darts, my, when my ears are going to connect, all that stuff. Make sure you go ahead and mark that. Um, also, if you're using any kind of fabric that has nap, make sure that it's going the right way. See how this one's going down with the bunny. Um, and then the ears, because they're up, the, the nap is going up on the ears for me. So that, that to me was um, what I did. But anyway, so I'm going to put some of this fuzz aside and let's get started and hopefully... Um, it won't be too bad. <laughs> We're going to start with the ears and I'm going to face the ears right sides together with the two pieces, the matching mirror pieces. I'm going to go ahead and sew them right sides together around, ooh, right sides together around the edge here, all the way around. And that is going to be with a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to be using a straight stitch. I'm not sewing here at the bottom. I'm just sewing around the sides, up the top and down the other side. When I get here to the tip of the ear, I just go one stitch, leave my needle down, lift up, and then I turn my ear around and go the other way. Ooh, I need to go a little bit higher, actually. One more stitch. And then I turn and go down. All right, so now that this is sewn, we're gonna trim that seam allowance to 1 8 I think the tip here is really bulky. I'm gonna trim that a little bit here. Get rid of all my fuzz. And now I'm gonna go ahead and flip these right side out. Now if your fabric allows it, you're gonna steam that down. And I don't think I need to steam mine down and I'm a little bit worried. I don't wanna burn my fabric. I think they'll be fine if I don't steam it down. And you can top stitch also if you want, but again, I'm working with this furry fabric so I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to make sure that I poke out my sides and everything's good. Oh, already that stinking ear looks so cute. Oh goodness. Look at them ears. So cute. All right, now I'm going to grab the ear and I'm going to fold it a quarter inch towards the inside on each side. Okay, and then I'm going to baste here at one eighth seam allowance here. Just baste it together with just a straight, long straight stitch. So that way you can, um, it's easier to sew onto the bunny later. Okay. Okay. Just look at these ears. I mean, are you kidding me? How adorable are these ears? Literally could just make ears and that's it because this is adorable. Honestly, you could make a little blanket and just add ears to it. <laughs> so cute. You know what else you could do? You could insert some like in the seam, stitch some like pipe cleaners or something if you wanted the ear to be like a band. Oh my gosh. Or you could even bend it. And I'm already thinking of like all the possibilities. Bend it and do like a little stitch, a hand stitch, hand tack. So one of the ears is like bent over like that. Oh my goodness. So many ideas, cause I love these. So cute. All right, darts. Now, both front and back pieces of the bunny have these little darts here, okay? 
and you want to go ahead and mark them and then once they're marked you can go ahead and cut the darts out let me go ahead and just show you on one put that aside all right and then i'm going to face them right sides together that dart here and i'm going to start at the bottom and so up the dart and then as I get close to this edge, we're gonna kind of round it around. So it's like a rounded so, and then we're gonna come out the back. Make sure that you don't uh, back stitch at the end because you don't want it to have like a little pucker. You also, as you're getting closer to come out the edge, you wanna turn, you're gonna start with a regular length stitch. And as you're getting closer, you're curving and you're coming out here as a curved. Um, and what you want to do is uh, shorten your your stitch length right about here by like 1.8. So we start a regular stitch, which is like about a 2.5, and we're going straight, and then we're curving out, and we're going to end up like one uh, 1.8 stitch length around right here. And we're going to do that to all of them. I want to mark this as the... Okay, I marked it. Good. Whew. I wanted to make sure I marked it because I don't want to... Oh, I did not mark his, okay, make sure you mark his um, dart. Oh, you all see all this fuzz going everywhere. You're doing the same for the other one, just going up and coming rounded out to the top. Fuzz, 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 fuzz. All right, now I'm gonna start here at the bottom and I'm gonna start with a regular um, stitch length. And as I'm getting out here to come out the bottom, we're gonna kind of curve it and turn the stitch down and come out. So it's kind of curved as I go. Leave a long tail. Here's my dart. You wanna leave a long tail because then you're gonna tie off that tail here at the top I'm just going to do a little a knot, but I'm not going to pull it tight because I don't want it to like have a pucker, but I just don't want it to come undone. So it's just a little tie off here and then trim the excess thread and I'm going to do that for all of them. All right, we're going to grab our back pieces. Remember I wrote on them. So here's one back, here's the other back. I'm going to face them right sides together. And we're gonna start attaching from the top around the back, but leaving a gap where we're gonna turn it around later. So I'm gonna start at the top, leave a gap, and then continue on to sew all the way down. This gap will be where we're at our stuffing. So I'm gonna do it like right there, all the way down to the end of the curve here. And then I'm actually gonna do the same for the front, face them right sides together. And for the front, I don't have to leave a gap. I'm just gonna go all the way down that back curved seam. I'm gonna back stitch there just because I don't want that gap to become any bigger. And I'm gonna leave my gap and start back up. And I think I am gonna go ahead and back stitch here at the beginning and go all the way around to the end. All right, I have forgotten to baste the ear, so I did that. I got my limb brush here ready because this is, fluff is going everywhere. Okay, now that I've sewn that, I went ahead and trimmed that down, um, the seam allowance, and on the curves, you wanna go ahead and snip in a little bit. Don't cut the thread. Just snip in a little bit so that you can um, so that it's a really nice flush uh, seam allowance. Make sure you go around and you check that it all got sewn through. You don't want it to have a gap or anything like that. Once you do that, we're gonna open up and I have my mark here where my bunny ears are gonna go. Did I mark both sides? I marked this one and this one. Okay, so we're gonna put the bunny ears. It's just went my front. This is my back. We're going to put our bunny ears facing face down towards the front 
because we're gonna sew them into the bunny and then they're gonna, this is the front, they're gonna stand up like this. So here's my mark. We're gonna place them right below, starting right by the mark, right there. Okay, and you can go ahead and go baste them on first. That's what I'm gonna do. And then the other side, I didn't mark my mark. I marked it on the back because I was doing the projector. So I'm just gonna mark it real quick. And then grab the other bunny ear and place it right there so that they're evenly placed. And I'm gonna go to my sewing machine and I'm gonna baste the ears on here first because that will make it easier to sew it together now if you're doing embroider eyes or nose you want to go ahead and do that now because i'm going to go sew it up if you're not then if your fabric frays you want to go ahead and put a little bit of interfacing here in the back so that when you do your eyes it's not going to fray so let's go do that all right i'm just very carefully going to add a little bit of interfacing where the nose and the eyes are gonna go just because I want to, I don't want them to fray or anything. Just like being really careful because I don't wanna melt my fabric. Also, I did it in three little pieces. I didn't do just one big piece because I don't want it to stiffen up my face. I just wanted to um, interface just where my nose and my eyes are gonna go in separately. My goodness, this is gonna be adorable. Look at him already. All right, we're gonna sew the front and the back. So you wanna make sure that these ears are out of the way when you're gonna sew here. So I'm probably gonna like clip them together. Like stay in the middle, don't get over to the side because you don't wanna catch them. You wanna catch them to sew them here where you, where you basted, but not along the inside. So. I'm gonna put them like that, and then if I can find a pin, I'm just gonna pin them right here in the center so that way they don't move anywhere. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab the back and we're gonna face them right sides together. See where the seam is, make sure you match those seams. And then going all the way around, we can take this tag off now because we already know that's the back. And we wanna make sure that it's all nice and even. And you're gonna sew all the way around because you already have that gap in the back of the back, bunny's back where you're gonna flip it around. Again, I think I mentioned this already, but I wanna mention it again in case I didn't. If you're doing um, embroidered eyes, you wanna do them, embroidered eyes or nose, you wanna do them before this step because once you close the bunny, it's gonna be really hard to embroider. Well, it's gonna be impossible, so. All right, I'm gonna sew them all the way around and then I'm gonna check and make sure that they all are sewn up really nicely. Uh, you wanna check the front and the back once you sew them together to make sure you cut everything. Uh, look, this is folded, so you wanna make sure that it's not folded, that it's all nice and even. Here's another piece where it got folded. Um, my goodness, there's a lot of folded pieces. It's hard when it's so fuzzy, you can't tell. So you wanna make sure you look through both sides and it's gonna be nice and straight and even and do a good job. So let's go sew that up. I'm gonna go back and forth here where the ears are because I want it to, them to stick really well and not come off. So right here where the ears are, I'm just doing a back, going over it and then going back stitch over it. Okay, remember to make sure that all your sides and everything is cut. And if it's not, go back and do a little stitch over it. All right, so now I've got it all. And now we're gonna trim like the seam allowance down a little bit. And also in the corners, we're gonna go in to where your thread is, kind of clip those corners. Don't cut your thread. You're just gonna be clipping so that when you turn it, it's easy to turn and your corners are good all the way around the bunny and again make sure that you check if you have too much if you if you came too close to the seam allowance or anything like that make sure you check so that it doesn't have a gap 
It's easy to fix now, but it won't be as easy. You'll have to take it all apart and bring it back out later. But you can also go ahead and get to the next step, which one would turn our bunny and check then as well. Um, when he's so fuzzy, it's kind of hard to check because you can't really see. But anyway, so finish this. Okay, now we're gonna go through that gap in the back and we're gonna um, gently turn it around. I'm gonna pull that pin out so I don't get pinned. As I'm turning it around. Make sure don't um, pull on your ears too hard. You don't wanna rip them off as you're trying to turn this around. I'm gonna use like this little pencil pen and kind of poke the arms and the legs out so they come all the way out. It's coming along. I'm gonna trim all these threads. These are the basting stitches here. Now you can make sure too that everything is nice and sewn together. It's so cute already. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of stuffing. We're not gonna stuff him all the way because we're gonna insert the um, eyes and the nose but we want to just put a little stuffing in there to make him, um, to fluff him out a little bit. I can definitely do the arms and the legs already. All right, make sure when you're stuffing the face, don't put too much against the nose or the nose will get lost. Um, we're, and we're not stuffing it all the way yet. We'll stuff it a little bit more, um, but we're gonna go ahead and attach our face. Oh my goodness, look at how cute. This little bunny is looking so cute. And it's time to attach his nose and his eyes. And I cannot find my owl to open the hole. So I've got like all these other little tools that I'm gonna try to see if they work. Okay, so we're gonna start. There is pattern placement if you wanna put it on, but obviously my bunny's so fluffy, fluffy, I can't really see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from the crown of the head on your pattern. Instructions, you have your measurements. So it's from the top of the head for the small, I'm gonna go two and a quarter inches down or 5.7 centimeters. So I'm gonna measure that two and a quarter would be right here. And I'm gonna push my pin right there where it's supposed to go and then we're gonna go ahead and open like a little gap right next to the seam. You don't wanna be right on the seam, you wanna be like right next to it because you don't wanna rip that seam open. Um, I'm gonna use this like really thick push pin. Try to open that. And this is why you don't want it to be super stuffed because you need to be able to get to it and be able to open up the hole everything and then you're gonna put your nose through that hole I may have to go grab something else but anyway so you're gonna measure down and you're gonna measure your nose and that's where you're gonna put your nose and when you put your nose in do not um, don't push the backing if you're doing this kind of nose don't push the backing all the way in because you don't want the nose to be indented in, you want it to be kind of hanging out so it kind of gives it more of like a, a stuffy look instead of like pushed all the way in. So you may want to just like leave it on, not, not push it all the way against it. Then we're also gonna measure for eyes. I can go ahead and put those already. I'm looking at my pattern marking, my, my uh, instructions so I know exactly where they go. We're gonna, for your, eyes you're gonna start at the top for the small we're going one and one eighth from the uh, top of the head so like right here it's already coming to life okay and then we're gonna go from the center we're gonna go out a half an inch we're gonna go in a little bit now obviously you can do whatever you want you can make it as far away as you want you can put it as close as you want. This is up to you, however you want that to look. Um, that's how far the placement is on our thing. I'm just gonna kind of place them up here because I need to go find the tools to open the holes. Eyes right there. We're just pretending they're on. They look really weird, not all the way in. And then the nose. 
okay? I'm gonna go do that. It's starting to pour where I'm at. So I'm gonna go find those, do this, and then we'll come back. After we finish that, we'll come back, finish stuffing, and then we're just gonna sew this, hand stitch this part closed, and we'll be done with our bunny. So let me go find something to open these holes for my eyes and put my eyes on. These are easy. You're just gonna go right through the gap, right through the hole, and then from the back, you're gonna place the backing and you're gonna close it in, and that, that's a safety eye. Um, I got these from a local store, um, but they you can also find them online on Amazon. They sell a kit with all different sizes, all different color eyes and noses and stuff like that. So if you wanna find that, we uh, maybe we'll add a link at the bottom um, so you to the ones that we ordered, because mine just didn't get here on time, but I did order some. And because I'm planning to make a bunch of these. Anyway, so let me go do that and then we'll come back and finish them up. All right, now, if you wanna add a pom-pom tail, if you wanna add a tail and you already have one, um, you can go ahead and attach it by sewing it on or hot gluing it on or however you wanna attach it. But if you don't, I'm gonna show you how to make a pom-pom if I could ever find the end of this yarn, here it is. I have a piece of cardboard here. Um, I think it's three wide by, I'm not sure how much long, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the wider this is, the bigger the pom-pom. So we're gonna start by putting the um, yarn there and then we're just gonna loop it around. And however many times you wanna loop it, that's how thick your pom-pom's gonna be. I'm just gonna loop it a few times. I think that's enough. And then we're gonna leave a tail to tie the pom-pom off. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull this right off. You can also do this with just your fingers. You can open your fingers wide and wrap it around, but with a piece of cardboard, it, ke it helps keeps it more even. Okay, and then I'm gonna loop it around. Again, I'm making the small size, so this is a good size for my pom pom. And then we're gonna, and then we're gonna tie off my loop here. So I want to make sure that it's a good knot. And then I'm going to cut the outside loops of the fat, the yarn. And now I can mess it up. And then to make it fluffier, obviously the thicker you do this, the fluffier it will be. But you can also untie the yarn or use like a wire brush and brush out the yarn. And it will, the more you fluff it out, the fluffier it will be. I found this metal comb. Make it things a little bit faster than trying to do it by hand. <laughs> Make sure as you're doing it, you're holding the center. I'm not doing a very good job at that because you don't want them coming off. Mine are kind of coming off, but that's okay because mine, are, I have a small size. I'm gonna trim this tail anyway, a whole lot. All right, so then now what I can do is I can trim all the long hairs and however much I wanna trim out because I want a cotton tail, but I don't want it to be huge okay we want it smaller than that all right I think that's good and then we can go ahead and just sew it on we're just gonna sew it on you can use the same long thread of your um, yarn if you have a tapestry needle or you can use you know your regular yarn needle and just sew it on fluff it out and put it on there Ah, it's still too big. There we go. That's pretty perfect. I'm gonna find my taper steering needle and then I'm just gonna sew it on. Well, there is a cute little bunny tail. I think it turned out super adorable, so cute. I love it so much. I wanna make another one, and this time I'm also gonna make, I don't think I have enough of this fabric, but I wanna make a little tiny blanket that I'm gonna hang to the bottom of the arms and kind of put the arms like this and put the blanket so it's like a, a lovey that um, baby could have. I mean, it's adorable. Did I not warn you all that this was gonna be the cutest thing ever? It is so adorable, I love it so much. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. I don't know who I'm gonna give it to. I might just keep it because it's so adorable. And like I said, I have so much more fabric to make some more. I'm excited about them. Look at the little cotton tail. It is so cute. The little floppy ears. 
Bo loves it as well. I think he's adorable. I love it. What do you think? Comment below and let me know what you think I should call it. Um, my friend said, I showed it to my friend and she's like, what are you going to call it? I said, I don't know. So I'm asking you all what you think I should. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know um, how many you're making and for who you're making one for. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Go grab the pattern and sew it with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.